How's it going, fellow bush babies? Welcome back to my test world, where today we're going to build that big thing that you see behind us. In short words, this is a lotto system. You press a button and you might get a prize. So let's see if we get a prize. All right, I heard the click and we wait a minute and hey, we got a lapis block. Now, just a brief little overview of how this works and what you can do with it. You can extend it out as far as you want, but basically how it works is you press the button. These pistons push down and they may or may not complete this redstone signal. It has a cooldown system because, well, everybody knows that you don't always win the lottery, so there's a chance that you won't get anything. The middle one seems to be about the hardest one to get, but I believe we just got it now because I saw the little puff of smoke. Yep, we just got the middle one. So the middle one is the harder one to get, so you would put maybe a jackpot prize in there. And over here is actually where we're going to be building this. For all of that that you see over there, they're very minimum things. There's five redstone repeaters, or redstone comparators, uh, five, 12 repeaters, three redstone lamps, which are entirely optional, by the way, five droppers, 12, 20 hoppers, about a stack of redstone, three sticky pistons, or more if you want a bigger system, a poisonous potato, we'll get to why later, a button, and building blocks of your choice. Now, I'm going to be using these building blocks, things like iron and diamond and stuff like that. They're my favorite for tutorial builds because they have these good, clean edges. So you'll be able to pause and count if you need to. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with that big system back there, which is the hopper array that deals with all of the randomizing mechanical stuff. We're going to come up by two, and we need to get that out of here. And then we're just going to come off of this by a few. We don't need a whole lot, but we'll put a dropper here, here, and here. Now you do have to make sure that you don't just spam droppers all over the place because if you put anything in these, let's for example put half of these in here, some of these in here, and then some of those in here. And then if you, let's see, put a button here, it doesn't work. Haha. <laughs> okay, so if you put a button here, I am a redstone genius, ladies and gentlemen. Genius! Yes, Frenderman, genius. As you can see, if the signal from that actually completes, it will dispense three items at once. So what you need to do instead is you need to keep some space between all of these. So, one block of space, we don't need this fourth one, we're just going to end it at three. Then, behind here, you actually don't even need these if you don't want them. We're going to come back by... I believe it was three. Now keep in mind you don't actually need this block, but if you want it to kind of look, I don't know, good, just keep that there. And we're going to temporarily put a block here. You don't need these, by the way, so you can just delete those. And then back here, and then from here you're going to put three of these comparators. So the next thing that you're going to be working on is the hoppers. Now let's get some of the stuff we don't need right now out of the toolbar. We do need that. Uh, we don't need the potato just yet. We don't need the button. I have two buttons for some reason. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up by... Mm, there we go. And obviously I'm not going to be able to fly. First put down one hopper. Then... You're going to need to feed all of these hoppers into one another. So, like this. And you're going to need to be crouched for that, so that's why I'm so ungodly slow. And what you'll do with the poisonous potato, I'll just go ahead and chuck that in there now, is you'll throw that in there. And what you'll see is this line continues to light up. And we're going to need to get that potato out of there. Let's spam triangle. There we go. And you need to get these out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and put the pistons in now. You'll need a few spaces between. And these blocks will just be deleted afterwards. But right now, we just need to throw these up there. And here and here. 
and you don't need these blocks anymore so go ahead and now next what you want to do is you want to come out by one so build out that way well you're going to need to come out by a couple actually but we'll start with one and then this can overlap like this and we're going to get our repeaters that's comparators learn your redstone bush baby learn your redstone and then dust all along not there now what you can do to get these out of the way is just grab your button throw that down on here real quick and press it get those up out of the way and then throw your potato in there and that'll just go doing its little gum swap thing all the way around now the next thing you want to do is bring the signal down and around and we're going to switch over to this for now we throw one up under there and you're just going to build this out to wherever it is that you need it to go boop boop and down and let's say we put our button here it really doesn't matter and we're just going to dust it up here throw in a repeater for good measure and right now this should pretty much be working there you go we've got that part of the system working now the next thing that you want to do is you basically want to catch get your prize catchers ready oh I can't be flying for this when am I gonna learn get your prize catchers ready that's gonna be this little line of hoppers here and of course you don't want it to feed directly into there um, let's just put it like this for now then get out of the hopper there we go we'll throw it down to about there then we'll actually have it come down to here for now now there are in fact two ways that you could build this but I'm going to go with the way that I did over there so you clear out a little bit of space and keep in mind that this is probably going to mean that you know, throw that down there this is probably going to mean that you're going to need to build a platform up around it like let's see let's get this out real quick you're gonna have to build a platform up around it like this which is fine because it does still dispense things but you're gonna have to plan for that you can build it this way or you can build it with the prize dispenser under the half slabs and I'll kind of show you that afterwards but we'll do it first with this the first thing we need is the droppers we put one like this then drop to the ground and put one facing outward then of course you want your hopper feeding into the droppers and you can slim this down most likely I mean this is a little bit more bulky but you can slim it down the dispensers are actually pretty simple I mean I'm surprised they are as simple as they are you come off of the front of this here repeater we need to clear out a little bit more space and a repeater that needs to feed into a block just beside it so right here then dust up around it and you're pretty much done there anything that gets put in here will immediately get thrown up into here and we need to do the same thing off the back side dust up around there redstone you will not best me yet this is a repeater ladies and gentlemen comparator there we go so now we throw one of these little guys in here and he automatically gets dispensed so basically what will happen is let's say something drops from out of here it comes down and around automatically dispensed now the redstone lamps you can or cannot use them it just depends on whether or not you actually want to but if you, if you want to wire those up the only one you really need to wire up is this one here I believe let's see we will throw a lamp in there and we'll see which one comes on all right dust up around here and then a block to block this off that should cause it to do what it needs to do there we go now the other method of doing this is pretty simple it basically works on the same principle but what you do instead is you have the dropper facing upwards and take your half slabs 
and we're going to put them we're gonna block it off like this actually just so that we know that that's where it is that you need to stand then just sort of gam it up like this there we go now same thing as before we need to get rid of this first comparator we need a block to feed into there we need repeater let's see repeater repeater and then dust it up and if we jump up on here and we quickly throw something down in here let's throw a lot in there basically it works the same way you would have to block up all of this boop, boop, boop. there we go and of course you would have to have this fed into your redstone line here so just take this this upward one would be the only one that you do and then it would probably mean that you have to extend this out a little bit more but you do save yourself another dispenser or dropper whatever the hell that thing is boop boop and boop but I like this one a little bit more because you can save on some hoppers a little bit so then all you have to do right here is just bring this out and around down and through and this is what Minecraft does to you ladies and gentlemen and let's just toss literally everything in here and there you go this thing is going to dispense indefinitely until it runs out of items but when you have this lotto system working you basically just have something in here let's toss a bunch of stuff in there something in there something in here and you stand here you press the button and there you go you've been given a prize yay we got a repeater or a comparator or something so that pretty much does it for this it's very simple it's not really compact but it's as compact as it's going to get so you know if you enjoyed it feel free to use it i'm using this on my own minecraft let's play right now and i will be from now on in the future if you want to use it you want to use it in a public build or something it would be great if you give credit back to me because as far as i know this is my own design i never looked up anything else on it but that's really all there is to this so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it just make sure that you hit that like button with the fury of a thousand bush babies throw comparators in the air and we are out ladies and gentlemen have fun and remember bush baby loves you